Uh, oh shit! Oh, shit! You good? I think so. That motherfucker that just came. That is good fucking footage. God damn. <laughs> Who cares about the yeah, good dog? Holy fuck. Let's hit it. Good morning, guys. Coming for that furniture. Coming for that furniture. For that furniture. For that furniture. Coming for coming for coming for that furniture. For that furniture. Coming for that furniture. Coming for coming for that furniture. Coming for that furniture. All right, so today we're gonna learn how to wrap some furniture, okay? So when we're doing these deliveries, uh, I want to create a new standard, okay? It's gonna go for every single piece that we deal with. Uh, I want to, uh I want to raise our prices, essentially, okay? So as we get better doing this, I want to constantly be raising our standards so that way we can be a better service for our community, right? So I'm going to have uh, two of you guys. I'm going to use uh, Stanley and Derek as first representing. Uh, oh, sorry, you, I didn't realize you were smoking. The blankets are obviously the padding. This is a wood piece, all right? The back is not so much important, but you also want to take uh, take into the fact that if you damage the back, they're gonna say something, all right? Even though it's behind a wall, it doesn't seem like that's big of a deal, but they are gonna say something, okay? So go ahead and grab some blankets and then put some blankets on top of here to make it to where it's uh, fully covered. How many blankets do you think it's gonna take? Two, three, four? I think it's gonna be two, yeah. All right, so if you are gonna protect, I would protect mostly in the front, okay? Now I want you to look in the back too. Come over, come around and check this out, okay? So it's not fully dressed in the back, but it's pretty protected, okay? So you could take this side, all right? And you got this side, all right? And then you can use a little bit of tape. Go ahead and grab that, uh, that tape over there. Go ahead and tape, just put one piece of tape right here. Now put your hand right here, this hand, and hold it securely and yank that real hard. Yank it away, all right? So nice. do, now do it right here, just right here on the bottom. Do it for start here and go down. Yep, just like that. Now put your hand there and yank. Perfect. All right, so you see here, it's not perfect, but it's not that big of a deal, okay? It's not gonna be a stepping hazard. It's not gonna be anything like that, okay? So now, the next piece of equipment we need is this. All right, so go ahead and unwrap that guy. All right, so now we already wrapped up the knobs. We're gonna go around, go all the way around. You're gonna have to do your best to go around your buddy here to where it's, uh, it's through. Got you. Good. Once you get that first one, you can step off, all right? Good, all right, so now before you, yep, just keep on doing it. So now get a couple of, a couple on the top. And then just yank away, all right? So this right here is a wrapped, um, thank you. <laughs> See, sometimes you forget words. Uh, this is a wrap dresser, okay? So this right here is, uh, is the best way that we're gonna protect this, okay? Now, does uh, not protecting it mean that it's gonna get damaged? No. But the thing is, it's an accident for a reason, okay? It, you don't intend to do it, it just happens. So this is the best way that we're gonna protect things. But the thing is, is with this little padding, it's not only gonna protect that piece of staircase, it's also gonna protect this, okay? So those are little things that we're gonna learn from. Now it's the same thing with the sofas. I'm gonna have uh, um, Leonard and uh, Adnan, you guys are gonna do this one here, okay? So obviously this is not a nice sofa. We're just gonna use this for demonstration purposes, okay? But go ahead and, uh, and protect it with a few uh, blankets. How many blankets do you think it's gonna be? Uh, You're thinking three, three. three? Yeah, the blankets are big, but sometimes they take a while. <laughs> 
tasty, guys. Looks great. Okay. Looks great. So now with sofas, there's a lot of easier points of tie off, okay? So usually there's cushions. You can tuck into a cushion, all right? Uh, you can uh, do a buddy help with uh, what you just experienced over there. Or the other one is you just grab like, uh, you grab that and then you extend it out just a little bit and you tie it around a leg. So I'm gonna suggest like doing just like your first knot of your tying your shoes around that leg there. And that's going to be your tie off point. Perfect. You just need to do one knot, that's not a big deal. All right, and then when you're doing this, you wanna try and clean this up the best you can, okay? You try to pull these through, so that way that you're protecting in, any, in as many areas as possible, especially those corners. So it fix that, see, see that? Uh, see how that, that bottom right there, that whole corner is out? Yeah, I took it in. Here, hold on, just come back just a little bit. And just fix that, just real quick. All right. So a good rule of thumb is to get at least three wraps, three wraps around, okay? And you wanna go up and down, not over the same exact spot. You wanna try and like uh, wrap it as best you can. This is the portion where you're trying to keep the cushions in, all right? So typically there are cushions inside of there, all right? So you wanna use these angles in these corners to try to be the best as possible. This is gonna keep the cushions in. Now, is it perfect? No. Does it need to be perfect? No, all right? But the thing is, is this is way better than what it was. Now, once we start standing things up, okay, everything is protected. Even though the blankets move, when there's cushions in there, it's not gonna be, it's not gonna be that big of a deal, okay? It's not about being 100%. It's about protecting just overall, okay? It's gonna keep it all together. It's going to just make it to where it's not gonna get nearly as possibility of damage, okay? So don't think of it as perfection. Just think of it as protection, all right? You wanna make sure that you're trying to be the best service for the customer, all right? And when you sip, take the five minutes, how long did that take? Five minutes for both? You know, it didn't take that long. Now it took a couple extra minutes. It took some time to get all your supplies out and ready to go, but it's really not that big of a deal, okay? Now, let's just say it's a bunch of items, like a bunch, okay? Are we gonna wrap every single piece? So I would like to get in the standard of doing this, but we're not a moving company, okay? We don't have a million blankets, but we have to also be prepared. So if we know we have some deliveries, have some extra blankets, okay? We wanna try to look the best we possibly can. Wrap that shit. You see it's also not perfect, all right? Don't worry about it being perfect. If you want, the, if you want it to be better, use some tape. You know, that's what the tape is there to hold, to hold things in place for, but the saran wrap just keeps it all in place and the, and the blankets are gonna protect the piece. These are mattress protectors, okay? So um, mattresses get dirty very easy, okay? If we're delivering a mattress, it goes, in, it goes in this, okay? I know it makes it a little difficult sometimes. It makes it slippery. It makes it not very easy to hold, okay? Uh, a good uh, rule of thumb is once you put the mattress inside of it, tape it closed so that way it's not just like falling down on you, okay? And don't be afraid to rip a hole in it if you need to, all right? If, if, if you're grabbing it and it rips a hole, it rips a hole, but just don't place it down on that hole. You know, pretty simple, all right? But if we're delivering a mattress, it goes in one of these, okay? Uh, so if you deliver a mattress and you have one of these and it's still in this after, after the fact, you did it wrong. I just want this to be a next step in our generation of how we do things. And it's just gonna make us look better for the future. Uh, thank you guys for letting me do this. And then so we're just gonna put those blankets in there and then we'll be off for the day. Today you're gonna to be following Matt and Stanley. So Matt has been with us for a while. Stanley is fairly new. And uh, so the way that we do things is we always put a vet with someone new so that way we can always have someone that knows what's going on. Matt and Stanley, you guys are just doing, uh, you have a, a sleeper sofa, recliner, and then a chest, and then a three-piece sleeper reclining section. And that one's in the basement. Well, that's about it. Drink nos.
<laughs> so training is constant. Uh, now it doesn't have to be set every single day that you're doing training, but you always want to be addressing something in, in some way. Uh, so I want to try to do training at least once a week on a major scale. I'm always readdressing. I'm always um, confirming. Like I'll talk about this throughout the week or weeks just in general, just to make sure that it's clear and that the way that they understand it. Question of the day, work to live or live to work? Work to live. Work to live, all right. Why is that? Bills, man. Bills. Bills. <laughs> so accidents happen. You cannot stop everything from happening, okay? Next in line is Christian. Yeah. Work to live or live to work? Uh, oh, oh shit. Oh, shit. You good? I think so. That motherfucker that just came. That is good fucking footage. God damn. <laughs> Who cares about the footage? Yeah, I mean, good fuck? Uh, Holy fuck. But the, the best possible thing you can do is training. What brings them together? So the way that we do training is we make it a team environment. And it's only going to progress from there. Oh, oh, pulling the sleeves up. How's it going, boss? Good, how you guys doing today? Oh, hanging in there. Hanging? Hanging. Yeah. Hanging like Aaron Hernandez. Ready? Ooh, okay. Okay. So training is important for your business just in general, okay? Safety first, always. You can't you can't save anybody else if you can't save yourself. Flex on them. <laughs> yeah. If you are not training, then you're just relying on what ifs, and you're ex and, and you have expectations in your of your head. Um, you have expectations in your head that someone knows something that you know better than they do. Okay. So if you're not training it, you can't assume that they know it. Okay. You can't assume that they're talking to the customers the way that you want them to. You can't assume that they're doing things uh, on the on the systems that you, the way that you want them to. You can't assume that they're taking the furniture out the way that you want them to. You have to train them and you have to make sure that they're aware of it. Sleeper sofas, heavy. You gotta make sure to be careful with these. The best positions to have sleeper sofas, any kind of heavy piece, is keeping it close to the body. If the further you're out, the uh, more awkward you are, the more it's gonna be awkward and, and weird and, and possibly hurt you. You go first, always go like this. You wanna try to stand upright as best you can with everything as tight to the body and to the chest as possible. It's killer. <clears throat> oh shit. We gotta get you curling there, man. You still got like a whole foot on this side. Or is this gonna have to go sideways? Go think it's way a ton, huh? We went to the, the Lazy Boy place and bought furniture, and they said that they, they give us the guy that would take, take the old furniture out. Well, that's how we got it. It's like 30 years old. Wow. It's gone through two great grandchildren. Oh, really? Yeah, we had to get a big enough one so that they could sit in there with Papa. What are we going to pick up? Yeah, a chest. Ooh, you got a big chest. Thanks, brother. Thanks. Any challenges you expect? Can you overtrain? Can you say the same thing over and over again and it gets annoying? Sure. But the thing is, is that are you having new people come in? Are you having a flux of different guys in that don't know what's going on? We need to make sure that everybody is on the same page. Wow, we work well together. Everybody understands slow is smooth, smooth is fast. What's my nickname again, Ryan? Hulk. You got the, you got the Hulk strength. Almost a year, man. Almost a year. Almost a year being Hulk. Almost a year. Nice. So that's Lou Ferrigno. 
Huh? Since I started with Dan, it's been all season. Yeah? Yeah. We gotta make sure that it's a cohesive team and it's not just two new guys scrambling to figure it out. We wanna try to have a consistent product that is gonna be the same for every single customer. It was probably the easiest job we've had today. It was easy, in, out, done, over. Um, no complications with parking, no complications with elevator usage or anything like that. Customer was really sweet. So it was, uh, it was pretty easy. Last jobs were reclining. Um, shouldn't be too difficult. Saw the back patio, so we'll uh, go in there and take a look and see what happens. What was the lightest thing we've had today? I've noticed whenever I speed things up or I rush through things, that's when the problems happen, and then it takes more time because I have to go back and then I have to do it again. It was on the back kind of like the guy said. He had it all taken apart for us already, so I made it pretty quick and easy and smooth. Uh, went ahead and paid, and then uh, we're heading out. So, all on, good day. Constantly train, train to be perfect, be the best, always be the best. If you like this content, click here or here, see some more videos.